How's it going guys? Welcome back to another Nation channel. Today I'm looking at the Corsair IQ, is it? Yeah. H150i Pro uh, XT RGB CPU cooler and we're going to give it a quick unboxing and open up the uh, packaging and see what you get inside and we're also going to set it up in the new spec Omega RGB case to see what it looks like. So here it is, let's just rip open the cellophane. This is the IQ H150 Pro RGB XT by Corsair. So this is their latest 360mm hydro cooler that they actually do. Um, and it's, uh, you know, we've got multiple uh, compatibility, so you can use it with the AMD, AM4, the Threadripper, the Intel, um, LGA 1150, 50, you know, 2011. Comes with all the adapters anyway in the box, okay? Now, let's just have a quick open of the box. I think I have my trusty Stanley knife here. And we can just open up this side. Uh, oh, it's not actually got any uh, stickers. Which I hold it down, so won't need the trusty Stanley knife. Uh, but yeah, so if you, I mean, my build is all Corsair. So if you already got full Corsair IQ um, compatible stuff, it's always better to stick with one manufacturer so you don't have to get. Uh, install loads of other you know software like you got some some of it that's Razer, some of it that's Corsair, some of it's Logitech. It's easier if you just look one software. So anyway, open up the box. You got the uh, manual. You know how to install a CPU cooler. Uh, got your warranty guide. You got that in there. You've got some um, uh, all the styrofoam, whatever it's called. Okay. Now here's what looks like in here. What have we got? Okay, so we have two of the fans. Oh no, it should be three. Yeah, three fans. So these are 120 mil fans. So these are 360 valve with 120 mil fans. Now it's a bit funny because they call it the RGB uh, cooler, but it doesn't actually come with any RGB fans. Um, it's just the pump block that's on there. That's RGB, which the last H150 had RGB as well. The difference with this uh, pump top is. It's got multiple parts of it. It's, the other one was just one colour. It could change different colours, but it was just one section of the pump block. Which I'll show you in a minute anyway. Um, but the um, different parts of the pump block, you can change the different colours, so you get a nice cool rainbow effect or whatever you want. So yeah, you get your three 120mm AF, uh, I think they're just normal AF120 um, balance that you kind of get with it. Um, and these are the PWM ones. They're quite nicely built, they're using the same frame as the new uh, LL120 fans which I've also got in my uh, system so I'm not actually going to use these, I'm just going to use the RGB LL120s um, so that's that uh, what else have we got, we have mounting bracket hardware you know, we've got some CPU backplate, back, uh, motherboard backplate uh, brackets you know, quite nice, like, it's like a dark shadow chrome finish that you get to it. Um, and some more CPU hardware brackets, like I said, you know, this is all depends on what CPU you're, you're actually using. So here, more CPU kind of hardware mounting clips. Obviously, um, this one's actually for the back plate of the motherboard to give it a bit of extra support. And it's got a little bit of 3M there to keep it in place and then you can screw it in as well. So um, that's interesting. Uh, but that's made out of metal as well. Sometimes it's made out of plastic, then back, back plate things, which is never good. But it's made out of metal, so you got that as well. Uh, what else have we got? We've got some screws and all that kind of stuff. Um, obviously, you just need to check on the manual which one's the right ones for your actual uh, motherboard. Here we've got the the USB, so basically this little micro USB here plugs into the top of the uh, side of the port of the pump and you've got your USB which is a header which goes onto your motherboard and hey presto you can control all the fans and monitoring and the RGB, you can do all that stuff with that um, so that's there now let me just take the radiator out so that's the actual radiator pump bit itself nothing else in the box there so let's chuck that down there. Right. Now, once you take the, the bags out, you can see this is the actual radiator itself. You've got a nice chrome 
Corsair logo there at the side, and that's on both sides as well. It's flipped round on the uh, other side. Um, it's quite densely packed, so the radiator is quite densely thin, which is good. It's not megaly uh, spread out. The denser they are, the better cooling they give. Um, now, on the actual pump top, it is quite a big pump top. It is quite chunky, and it looks cool. You know, the, all the hoses are all braided as well, so which is always a good thing to see. Now, the fans all directly plug into this. So, this can get a bit messy. Now, quite a few other reviewers and people who bought the actual thing have said it, it can be a bit difficult to uh, cable manage. Um, because obviously, oh, if you're plugging into this thing here, then you have to kind of hide that away and then plug your fans into there. Then you've got SATA connection here for the power. Then that, this bit here is for the, the, the CPU fan header so it knows that's one plugged in so you don't get that CPU fan error which can be annoying uh, on BIOS but um, that's what that is for you've got thermal paste there already pre-applied and it's on the copper actual um, uh, heat spreader as well um, and this is what I meant earlier about the uh, RGB so basically this uh, actual pump top itself has got different sections where they all kind of light up um, different colours so you can have like red here, blue here, yellow here, green here and it'll just cycle through it. Now I'm just going to get my measuring tape out so I can give you a, a quick measure of what it kind of the dimensions are. So I've got a measuring tape so here we go so obviously the, the top bit is a 360 you know no doubt about that but in terms of like um, you do always have a little lip here and at the back there where the actual um, hard you know where the pumps and the, the uh, pump and the hoses go so if I actually was to measure it you can see there what we got it's about 30 39.5 centimeters um, width and the depth you're looking at what we got 25 uh, uh, yeah, so 25 mil you've got there. Um, so it's not massively thick, but obviously uh, you do kind of with these they kind of decide uh, design them to fit in as most um, cases as possible. And the thinner they are, the more cases they can fit in because it's more about the thickness with clearance from the motherboard uh, top bit and where the RAM sits and all that kind of and the rest of it. So that's something to bear in mind. Um, now I have seen a few other reviews uh, of this and the. And they don't say it performs amazingly uh, in comparison uh, for the price difference compared to the 240mm rad that they do. Uh, but one thing you do also need to consider is being a 360, you're only going to really see the benefit of that extra 360 when you have got quite a beefy CPU and you are clocking it and it is getting a lot hotter. Um, that's the only time you'd ever see the benefit of having the 360 bit, which I have seen in the other tests as well. Now I've got a 9900K, I know it runs hot. Um, I've already seen that myself in my current water cooling build. So um, I, I know it's, it's, it's the definitely a hot CPU to try and cool, so I'm hoping this will do the job. Um, but uh, you know, as long as it performs as good, um, as the custom loop I've got now, then I'll be happy. But the one thing I'm bearing in mind is the custom loop I've got now is also cooling two graphics cards as well, which are quite old, the GTX 980s, but I am upgrading it to the 3090, um, which is a long awaited upgrade uh, when that comes out. But um, I'm going to do a, uh, a build in the Spec Omega RGB with my system, so we're going to throw it in there and see what it looks like. Alright, so here I've got the H150i XT RGB, uh, forgot what it was really called, installed in my Spec Omega RGB. Uh, so here, as you can see, I've marked the uh, 360 round right at the front, it's kind of like the only place it can go, and it just about clears enough room to have it with the uh, hard drive cages and the uh, RTX 3080 Master, which I've got here from Aorus, which kind of just squeezes it in uh, with about a centimeter to spare, so that's something to bear in mind. Now, I have got my fans mounted on the front, once you take off the front panel, and it's not getting the best airflow in there on the Spec Omega RGB, it's not the best case for airflow in that respect, uh, because there's only a small bit of mesh at the front there, which uh, can be used to uh, intake the air and get through there. Um, however, you know, running the 9900K, I'm getting around on idle 
between 40 and uh, 47 um, degrees on idle, uh, depending on what it's kind of doing. And when it gets hot, it can go up to around 75, 85 uh, degrees, um, you know, under full load, um, like on Cine Ben Channel 20 or something like that. So, um, it's, it, but I think it would cool it better in a better case, to be honest, because this case. The front intake just isn't getting enough cold air. It doesn't crash or anything like that, but if you are pushing like, you know, 5 gigahertz all core, or depending on how good your chip is, maybe a 5.1, you might struggle with this uh, case and uh, cooler combo. Uh, however, I have swapped out the fans to the uh, uh, LL120 RGBs, and as you can see, it looks really cool with it in. Um, definitely uh, goes well with the pump, um, uh, matches perfectly and I think it's a really good all around package with the braided hose cables and I think it looks really smart. Um, again Corsair IQ, uh, probably one of the better softwares out there to put control in RGB but once you've got the whole system together with all that kind of uh, stuff it works really well together and it looks really nice. Um, the pump you can uh, switch between quiet, I think balance, extreme, that kind of stuff, full tilt and you can't hear it at all when it's on quiet, only when it starts pumping itself up to you know, your, your, uh, your full speed or your balance you know, as a midway, uh, then you can hear it a little bit but to be honest if you're gaming uh, at that point you're not going to hear it over your speakers or your headset or even the, uh, the, the case fans, you're not going to hear the pump, um, so that's one good thing about it there. Um, one thing I have noticed is with the LL120 RGB fans, there's no actual way with those fans you can set in the Corsair IQ software up to zero RPM, so the fans will never turn off. Um, but uh, that's just something to bear in mind. It, it, you can do it with other fans. I don't know if you can do it with the ones that are stock in the box. Um, I'm not looked into that, but there is a zero RPM mode, so you would have thought there would be. Um, but uh, yeah, it looks really smart in, in, installed. It's quite easy to install, like any other H1, uh, you know, hydro cooler. But uh, let me know what you think. Uh, uh, if you've got any comments, let me know. Um, I'm using the stock thermal paste that came with it. Um, it seems to be fine. Um, obviously, I know some people replace it. You know, if I ever take it off, and obviously I'm going to replace it with something else. But uh, uh, yeah, I've been happy with it so far. Uh, and let us know what you think. If you like the video, uh, please subscribe and leave a comment.